Hello, my friends. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing good. I hope you're ready for another YouTube video from your old buddy, Dadcraft73. We're back here playing some Direwolf 20, 1.12 modded Minecraft, and man, you know we're having a good time. That is for sure and for certain. Man, if you're not playing Direwolf 20, you should be. Man, I know there's all kinds of crazy new mod packs out there. Some crazy Sevtech and pyramid maps and all that kind of stuff. Man, come on. Direwolf 21.12 mod in Minecraft. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. That's for sure. Oh, I'm tired today. I drove a long way. I took my son on a college visit. He is of that age where we have to do those college visit things. Trying to figure out where he wants to continue his education after high school. And we went to see the fine folks over at the Virginia Tech University. I don't know. He kind of liked it. We'll see what happens. We got some time. Anyway, that's that's neither here nor there. Uh, all that confirms is, is that I'm old. Look at that tree farm taking care of business. Oh, man. I love it. I love it. Anyway, um, so we're going to kill a wither today, and we're not going to do it like through some like fancy, awesome way. We're going to kill it with the Draconic Evolution Mob Grinder. Yeah, boy. My uh, Void Ore Miner over there in the workshop has been working like a boss, and I have 29 Lawns to Light blocks, and I think that's probably going to be enough to do what we got to do. Because all I have to do is get this Wither inside the range of this mob grinder and he is going to eat his lunch <laughs> that is for sure let's go down here i need to get some stuff i wish i had some other sort of wither proof block but i don't so i think what i'm going to do i would like to see if i have like a couple more lanzolite shards in here one okay i need one more by the way there's some weird texture issue there with draconic Evolution, Draconium Ore? Yeah, it's not working the way I wanted to, but that's okay. I took all the copper and the tin and the aluminum and the silver and all that kind of stuff. I dumped it in here. It's all getting ground up, run through here, and we're getting stacks on stacks of resources. We're just going to put those into our storage thing, and we're going to be good to go for sure. All right, what was I coming down here to get? I don't remember. Let's go over here, and let's see if we can remember. So I need some kind of block. Obsidian, maybe obsidian or skystone. What are which one is harder? I don't know. We don't have another off uh, another option for witherproof blocks. I mean, there's ionite tiles. There's plat. Oh, do we have any of these crazy crystals that we can use? Erodium. Use. Okay, that doesn't say that it's witherproof. Okay, that's for making upgrades, lithorite. We don't have any of those other things. I guess we need a higher level void miner to get some of those. We uh, So we don't really have any other witherproof blocks, but I don't really need to contain... You know what we could do? Isn't there like a shield thing? A shield projector. There is like this shield protect, projector thing from RF Tools. This machine forms a shield out of adjacent template blocks. It can filter based on type of mob and do various things. Damage solid. Use a smart wrench to adjust to add sections to the shield. Block me make is not implement. Infuse it. Reduce power consumption and increase damage. Okay. So what I what I oh man, can we make one of these crazy shield things? <laughs> oh man, there's like uh there's some weird texture things going on around here. I don't even remember those before. We're using the one not one dot nine version of the Direwolf twenty pack, so that may not be working the way we want to. And I guess we can't. Okay. But we can't make those. We could probably make that. Can we make this? No, we can't make that. So we can make this. Shield projector. Okay, well, how do I project a shield? There's a shield template. What is that, wool? Okay. What's the difference between these? Just different colors? I don't think I've ever done this before. I'm a little nervous. So what does it do? It says... Forms a shield out of adjacent template blocks. Okay, so I have to make a bunch of these template blocks? Is that the deal? Alright, well, I would like to make some. 
So if I can make like a roof, okay, let's see. Oh my goodness, that would be amazing. Do you think one of these would hold a wither? <laughs> I don't even know. Oh, I'm a little nervous. How much wool do we have? Four. How much string do we have? 225. Okay. So that will at least get us some of these template blocks. Let's make a bunch of wool. How much can we make? 56. All right. Do we have any flax? We do. Do we have any bone meal? <laughs> we do. <laughs> we do. Okay. The Pigglesworth is online this evening. Who knows what he's working on? Crazy guy, taking care of business all the time. So I tell you what, let's go get ourselves some string. We're going to use our patented Dadcraft 73 string farm that we have done many times in the past. Is it nighttime again? I'm not worried about it. Oh, I should be worried about it. I don't have a, a farm block around here anywhere. I need a farm block. Uh, do I have a thing? Water? Can I just like throw this? Does this work? Can I just like click this somewhere? <laughs> no. Idiot. Oh, what a fool. All right, let's let's go fight. Let's get this done, man. I feel like I'm sort of jacking around a little bit. We got to get this squared away. Let's get a bucket and let's go like that. And then we can just go right here and get a bucket of water. And then we just need. Let's see. We need some dirt. Yep, a piece of dirt. That's fine. You guys can go away. Okay. And do I have a hoe of some sort? No. Um, in my bag, do I have a hoe of some sort? Yes. Okay. An iron hoe. Perfect. Okay. All right, let's go over here. This nano suit makes it crazy trying to get out of this place. Okay. Okay. And let's go, let's put this piece of dirt down, uh, like so, right here in the middle. That works. Put his bucket here and hoe that. Okay. And then I could do something as simple as get this and this, put this down. This is my patented string farm. If you don't know, now you know. It's how professional I am at this game. Make sure there's no mobs sneaking up on us. Okay. And we'll just get a whole bunch of string. Now, we could build like a garden close or something like that. But, man, we don't need any of that stuff. Come on, man. We're just messing around, grinding out free string, staying here pushing the button on some bone meal. Why set up all that infrastructure? I mean, it's, string is not one of those things you need like stacks on stacks. We could also make like a wool farm or something like that. But, man, come on. Whatever. <laughs> oh, I know some of you guys, this makes you crazy whenever you see... They're like, man, why do you do stuff like that? That's not the way you're supposed to play modern Minecraft. You're supposed to be a professional. Yeah, well, it is what it is. I am not a professional. I'm a get it done. You know, I tell you what, I will say, without a doubt, that playing Age of Engineering, that mod pack, has ruined me for modern Minecraft. Because, you know, back in the day, I was one of those get all the things, have all the things don't just store a million diamonds and all these different things and then I started playing Age of Engineering and I found how to do as much as possible with as little as possible <laughs> so I've never been in a position where I'm like okay I have seven iron that's perfect that's how many I need because normally I'm like I need 70,000 iron to be even able to build something man play Age of Engineering and you will learn for sure how to do very little or do a lot with very very little okay there we go did that all run through yeah now we have stacks on stacks of string let's go back down here and we will put one two three string like that and then we'll do one of these deals and we'll just dump all these in there okay and now we should be able to get like two stacks of wool can we get three stacks that's ah, good enough plenty now okay shield shield template I, don't, I really wish I knew the difference between these. It just says it's like a different type. Okay. Oh, what it goes in the middle? Oh, piece. Oh man, of course I don't have any glass. Glass. Uh, let's craft... Th I don't know, a couple stacks? Three stacks? 
Okay. That's working on. Now, let's see if one of our friends will help us sleep through the night. Oh, my goodness. Please. Can I please go out? This nano suit makes me crazy. Will one of these guys that are on the server help us sleep through the night? Man, Pigglesworth was trying to get on the server earlier. He was having all these trouble because, remember, we had to update Industrial Foregoing in the Tesla library uh, because my tree farm was going all south. So we're sort of in like this weird, non-standard configuration. Um, and he was having trouble. <laughs> and I was teasing him like, hey, man, just let me hold your hand and show you exactly how to do it. And then he started singing that Beatles song. Crazy guy. Uh... And then JD was like, why do you do that? And now I'm going to be singing it to, I don't know, uh, nerds, right? Bunch of nerds playing on this server, as if you guys didn't already know that. Okay, so let's take lots of light blocks and put these on here like this. And we're going to do like a 5x5 five five deal, all right? Just like this. And this is going to be the roof of our little mob killing area. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. By the way, my son and I went to see Ready Player One. And let me tell you what, there's been a lot of kind of like hate on that movie. I'm not sure exactly why, but there has been. I thought it was pretty dang good. For sure, I did. Okay, there we go, right? This should work. Just be able to summon a wither in there. You guys go away. Okay. Yeah, and then I just need to get these template blocks, so hopefully our glass is done. And we'll try out this whole shield thing. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it'll work. Maybe we won't have a wither running all around the world, blowing things up. I hope that's the case. Okay, so glass. Okay, we have that. Yep, and now we want to make these shield blocks. Let's try this. Okay. Can I make a stack? Two stacks? Yeah, uh, three stacks. Okay, good enough. All right, so there's three stacks of those. And I need this shield projector. I'm going to make this one got to make the tier one one first okay can I just make this what am I missing machine frame yeah okay we're probably gonna need well just one is probably enough all right let's make another one and we'll put that in there and then can we make this uh, we just need some redstone blocks okay you get out of here okay let's do it this way redstone blocks bang one two three four bang okay shield <laughs> okay Okay, awesome. Now, do I have some way to power this crazy shield? Power cell. I don't have one. Let's see if we can make one. Need another machine frame. We can do that quick. Okay, and then we should be able to make this. Nope, we don't have the blocks that we need. We more we need more redstone blocks. One, two, three, four. And then I also need some quartz. Man, I am I am hurting for quartz, but that this is all I need. This is gonna be fine. All right, let's go. Oh, put that down. Okay. Put that in there. Now, power cell. All right, and we will get one of these. Perfect. And then we could get one of the our power cell cards. Perfect. And then we could take this power cell card like we do every single time when we make one of these and we can put it in here. Okay? There we go. Now he's all matched up. Now, if we go up here, To the top of our hill over here where we have this little like shulker box kind of looking deal going on here now let's go right here and take out uh, these yeah and then this is that right there okay now we're gonna put shields Put these down like this. Okay. And then I also want to put... What's the deal with breaking this? How? Oh, it's not hard. I guess just players can break it. Yeah, okay. That's easy. I love that. Okay. Do we want to go out one more block? I mean, we're going to spawn the wither right here. I'm going to build like the wither is going to get spawned and he's going to pop straight up. So we're going to go like one, two, three... Or something like that. One, two, three. I just want to make sure that when he spawns, he goes up in the roof there. So I think we probably can go like out a little bit more with these crazy shield blocks. Okay. I 
I've never used these before. Which oh, makes me a little worried. <laughs> all right, let's go like this all the way around. Nope. Oh. Okay. Okay. I think that's going to be okay, right? Or do I need to come out one more block? That's crazy. You could just break those so easy. And then there, we're expecting those to hold a wither in. This could be a nightmare about to happen. I mean, the good thing about it, I think I said this before, he only needs to be held for just a few seconds. Just a few seconds of being held, and then he should be okay. Right? Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're just watching me build this. I don't know. I mean, we should have enough power, right? I mean, I guess that's the deal, right? The shield projector uh, makes this thing, like, impenetrable. And then I'm going to go... How much more of these blocks do I have? 36? I mean, I might be able to do something like this. Just in case. I mean, I can go make some more if I need to. Okay. Okay. All right, so there's that. Now, the question is, is if I put this down, like, right here, and I put this down right here, and I make him go there, and I say, you go out. Okay. 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 Anything that matches... Okay, we don't want to... Oh, no. Okay. Anything that matches filter can pass through. So passive mobs can roll in there if they want to. Okay. Okay. Our tools implements a simple shield system that can block mobs, animals. You can start by building the shape of your shield with connected shield blocks of the same color. Then put a shield block next to one of these templates and you give it power. Okay. A tier one shield can handle... To, okay. To compose the shield, right-click the block with a wrench. The shield block will compose the shield... Okay, do, do we have the wrench? RF tools. No. Where's RF tools wrench? Right here. Okay. Okay. So I guess we have a shield. Oh, what's this? That's a gap. I don't know if I meant to do that. Can I uncompose it now? Okay. Is that really a gap? Yes. Okay, let's go make a couple more of these shield blocks. I know we're taking a long time, but we're about to kill a wither. With and we're going to see if we can do this. Oh my goodness, please, please don't cause any trouble. All right, let's go down here and let's get ourselves some more of these shield blocks. These, I guess, right? And let's make like half a stack. That should be plenty. And let's see, do we have some soul sand? We do. 47 soul sand. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. And then we should have some wither deals. One, two, three. We have 395 of those. We're doing pretty good. All right, with our little skeleton, wither skeleton farm. Okay, now let's go back out here. And, oh man, this is, looks kind of janky, but that's okay. 
I mean, I'm I'm betting on the fact that the that the thing. that the draconic mob grinder is going to kill this wither like instantly. Man, he better not get loose. That would be not good. I mean, I might be able to kill him. I mean, in my nano suit, probably I will be able to. Okay, and then you could go there. Okay? Now, what do we want to do with this crazy shield? We want to edit its config. Uh, what, do we, what color do we want to make it? Yellow? Okay. Alright. Bang. Okay. So there's our shield. All right, now the question is, I mean, will it hold a wither? I don't know. I don't know. All right, let's hit it again and turn it off. Is that guy running? He is. I can't get in here. Okay, let's go like this. Okay, and then if I do something like this. So we want it to sort of spawn up there. Let's head there. So if I go like one, two, three, like that. Yeah. Oh my goodness, this scares me. <laughs> Come on, Draconic Evolution. You can do it. All right, so let's put this back here like this. And then turn... Oh, let's, let's go sleep through the night. I mean, everybody's gone. Picklesworth acting crazy. Okay, so let's go up here. Okay, now we've got our stuff down on the ground. All right, so theoretically, this thing should work, right? I mean, is there anything we need to do? Add selective filter. Okay, oh, no. Add. Okay, animal can pass. That's it. Damage is done by a player. Generic damage. I don't really care about damage. Looting, I can't do. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm so scared. Okay, let me just take a look here. Um, the shield block will compose the shield in a spe specified shape. If you hit the shield with left click, it will also connect on corners. Right to shield again to set the template block. By doing that, you can change the shape of your shield. Okay. Note that there are four different shield blocks that you can use to make adjacent. Just everybody will only take one color. Okay. Okay. The shield is totally invisible. The shield is transparent. The shield is solid. In the GUI, every, any solid entity is blocked. If you hit the shield projector with your left mouse instead of the right mouse, it will also scan on the corners for template blocks. Additionally, using the smart wrench, it's possible to add or remove shield templates. Okay. 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 So this thing should work, right? So the rule that we have is animals can pass. That's really what we should do. Only the player. Entity that matches this filter can pass through. So player can pass through. Let me get rid of this. Okay? Yeah, so only players can pass through. I don't want anything else to go through. And I want this to be invisible. Okay? Okay. So I know there's a shield there. <laughs> okay. Let's do it. What's the worst that can happen? It can destroy our base? Right? Is that the worst that can happen? I mean, I think it's going to be okay. I mean, I do have these. So he's going to go right up. Okay, let's let's just put, just in case. That's a shield. Okay, let's just do it. Right? What's the, what's the absolute worst that can happen? Our base is destroyed? I mean, if we do, we'll kite it over that way and try to kill it. Right? I mean, we have a nano suit on. We're not going to take hardly any damage. Right? Uh, theoretically. All right, let's go. One, a two. Oh, please work. Three. Okay. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Let's go over here. So, if oh, we don't have any ranged weapon, we're going to have to melee him. Let's get this guy. We can range him with this. 
Okay. All right. Well, you're dead already. Thank you, Draconic Evolution, for being so ridiculously overpowered. Okay. Well, that was super easy. So, obviously, we need to extend our shield a little bit more. Or maybe not. I mean, we can just spawn a block. Spawn this guy. I mean, I guess he was... I mean, I guess it worked. I mean, we got what we wanted. We got another star. Yeah. Okay. I mean, he did some serious damage down here. That's for sure. Let's go and hit this thing. I mean, obviously he didn't break the shield. The problem is he fell through. Hmm. So it's almost like I need to get some blocks down there that we could spawn him on and extend the shield down. Okay. Here, if I turn this back on, I can go through. Okay. Okay. I mean, that worked good, I think. Oh, that's why it blew up those blocks. Okay. That's okay. Let's do this like this. One, two, three. Now, obviously, we have this thing built on sand. I mean, it didn't blow up anything else, right? So, one, two, three. Okay. All right. Let's go. Let's go some. Let's do another one. I mean, we, we can eventually we'll get to the point where we can like do these whatever we want to but again I mean how many nether stars we're we gonna need a million probably so let's get some soul sand and we'll get one two three four and let's get some wither skeleton skulls one two three like that okay all right and we will go in here Put this thing <laughs> okay you go there you go back on and now we should be able to go in here it's kind of weird that it's like that, but that's okay. All right, let's go again. A one, a two, a three, and then we will go here. <laughs> okay, so I don't think it blew up any more blocks. Oh, we got two nether stars. Maybe it did. I don't know. Okay. I mean, we could reinforce that a little bit. Okay, that worked like a dream. Okay. I don't really know if the shield kept him in or the mob grinder just took care of what it needed to do. But that being said, we should now be able to go into here. And the whole purpose of that wither skeleton kill, or wither the wither boss kill, was to be able to summon the guardian of Gaia, right? That's what we're trying to do. So let's take a look here. And it's... Uh, Ritual of Gaia. Okay, so we need... Oh, we need a beacon and some Gaia. That's all, that's the reason we did that. We will need a beacon. All right, so let's make a beacon. All right, so let's go here, and we'll make a beacon. Done. All right, and then we just need some, some kind of blocks. Uh, beacon. What can we use? I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Uh, we just need some... How about some iron? Let's grab some of this iron out of here. I love those shield things. I'd really like to know... Maybe one of you guys know, like, what's the the power? Like, how much can those shields actually hold? Maybe you know that. I don't know. All right, let's get nine blocks of iron. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, well, one more. There we go. Okay, and then we need to make some Gaia pylons, which are these. So we need some pixie dust and some elementium. Elementium is... Ele okay, mana steel. Okay, how much mana steel do we have? Okay, we have a bunch. So we're going to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 6, 16, right? 16 of those. And then pixie dust, we have 11. That might be enough. Uh, what was that? Uh, mana pearl in there. Do we have any mana pearls? No. Do we have any uh, pearls at all? Yeah, 1.8 thousand pearls. Okay. Let's go back over to our Batania area quick. So we're not going to summon this guy today. <laughs> oh no, we're not ready. But we will come back tomorrow and we will summon him. And we will be happy. Alright, you can go there. Can I throw you in there? Okay. And then I should be able to go over here to this guy. And I should be able to throw these in there and these in there. Alright, I'm picking up drones from somewhere. I don't know where. Here. You guys all go down there. Okay. Alright, perfect. Now, let's go see if we can't make these Gaia pylons. And then we're going to go set this up, and we'll be done with this episode. Kind of derping around a little bit, but that's okay. I mean, it is what it is. Okay, so let's go Gaia. Gaia pylons. In the regular mod, okay. Let's look at the rest of the thing. Okay, it says so. We need that with some guy upon red read on one level above the beacon as the altar, and then a single as the sacrifice. Okay, so if we go in here and we say, hey, we're gonna need four of these. One, two, three, four. Okay, perfect. And then we should be able to make four of these. You guys all go in there. Okay, four of those, a beacon, and this. All right, perfect. All right, now, let's go out here. Let's go over into our battle arena. That's the plan, at least. So if we go right here... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one, two, three, four. That's the center. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. So half of that is gonna be thirteen. So one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So right there, we're gonna dig that out. And then this guy right here is gonna have a block of iron. Okay, let's go sleep through the night. Okay. Nobody was even online. Dang it. No one saw how professional I was at killing the wither. Whatever. <laughs> Everybody was like, I'll be back later. I'm very busy. Okay, let's dig out these guys like so. Okay, it could just be like a low-level beacon. It doesn't have to be like some crazy thing. That goes there. Bring home the bacon. Now, if I go like this, right? I can visualize. You put this like right here. Okay, it can actually be a block lower than that. Do I have some blocks? Yes. Okay, we're gonna go here. Nope. Put it right here. And then this guy is gonna go here. Okay. And then we're gonna go over here. Because remember our, our template is like a block higher than it needs to be. We put one here. Let's do these real quick. Here. There. Okay, and then our pyramids or our pylons go there, and then we'll break these. All right, and then we get our book out. Let me see, unvisualize. Okay, oh, and then break this. Okay, so that should be what we need to be able to summon the spirit of Gaia. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back next time. Oh, man, that makes me happy that we're going to... I love the new pylons, by the way. They used to be... I mean, they were pretty cool. They kind of looked like, to me at least, like the pylons from 
Starcraft, have you ever played that? Sort of, at least to me. I like these. These are cool. Yeah, those are awesome. They kind of glow. Yeah, okay. So all you do to summon this guy is you like right-click on the beacon with a Terra Steel ingot. And if we have everything set up right, he should summon. So let's go over here to our fancy shield deal. <laughs> and we'll just end the episode sort of right where we started it, right here. Man, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. Until next time, please remember to be cool. Don't be a fool. And from my Direwolf 20... 1.12 mod of Minecraft series. Next up, Gaia Guardian. I guess we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.